Mabuhay! This is Sir Orlando. Welcome to my travel channel. In this episode, the gardens by the bay in Singapore. Gardens by the Bay is located behind the towering and iconic Marina Bay Sands Hotel. This is my ticket, eight Singaporean dollars in OCBC Skywalk. How to get there? Take MRT and get off at the Bayfront Station. Gardens by the Bay is what I want and looking forward to this tweet, even in one of their galleries. Gardens by the Bay was a part of Singapore's plan and extraordinary vision of the government, a country full of beautiful man-made wonders, a surprise to people around the world that development can sit well of not harming our environment. It is not just one-time experience to me, but undoubtedly unforgettable complete experience. The feeling of excitement to get a close view of gigantic super trees. It has a height of 22 meters with 128 long real walkway. Start my adventure here at OCBC Skywalk. I enjoy the most exciting, the most accelerating, and the most enthralling views along the OCBC Skywalk. It gives you the feeling of walking on air, a very unique experience I have. What an amazing attraction here in Gardens by the Bay. One of the most breathtaking suspension bridges that I walk on. Not known to many people around the universe that these vertical gardens have served so many purposes and functions, such as collecting rainwater, harnessing the solar energy, and acting as air intakes. The stories about gardens are magical. My travel journey in this video clip will amaze you the story and learn the wisdom of nature. A wisdom that Singapore has planted in our lives and enjoy the fruits and stand the universe of its bioengineering work of arts. The weather in Singapore is unpredictable this month. Rain in the morning and cloudy or sunshine in the afternoon or the way around. So you must prepare yourself at any moment to enjoy your tweet. Traveling taught me in many ways, like the sense of adventure. And I never thought it is possible. I continuously share my passion in traveling and explain how fascinating it is. Jose Rolando at 52. Fabulous!